imagine you are in Anjuna Beach in 1964 and your name is Yerkward Mazamanian. Well, you don't have to imagine, this person was actually an American who came down to Goa, to Anjuna Beach and popularized the so-called hippie culture. And uh, why are we talking about him? Well, he was also called Eight Finger Eddie because he had only eight fingers. Uh, this particular beer is uh, named after him and uh, I'm very curious to see how they sort of pay homage to this American who popularized uh, the whole hippie culture and everything that we sort of know about Goa even to this day. Let's give it a taste. So let's figure out uh, what this uh, drink is about. Well, uh, it does say that uh, this sort of pays tribute to the 60s hippie movement. So I'm curious to see how this has been made and uh, what this tastes like. There's a nice sort of intense uh, creaminess uh, that you get from this uh, beer right from the get go and uh, you know I think uh, this particular beer is like fermented for a couple of weeks uh, once it's done and uh, it, it's only brewed in like small batches sort of uh, so that it stays fresh um, and it definitely feels fresh on the palate so I'm definitely getting that uh, freshness. Uh, there's also like a very mild sort of hint of uh, the hops uh, sort of at the end of the at the back of the throat, which is uh, which sort of blends pretty well with the whole uh, you know creamy mouthfeel that you get uh, when you take the first sip. And yeah, uh, I mean. Any reason is good enough to pay tribute to the hippie movement of the 60s but uh, I'm not exactly sure how that ties in with this particular idea but uh, you know the beer in itself is uh, pretty amazing I think uh, it's uh, you know generally with the IPAs you don't really get that uh, sort of creaminess uh, that you're getting from this one and uh, I think uh, Eight Finger Ready is probably like a uh, uh, nice idea that you would probably want to uh, experiment with uh, or just want to like uh, try out uh, if you've already tried some other IPAs. It's uh, almost in the sort of a craft beer space I'd say uh, because of the whole mouthfeel that uh, it gives you know it's a uh, it might be in a bottle format but uh, that doesn't mean that uh, you know it's uh, it's like mass produced or something I guess so and also you know the fact that uh, the beers from Goa Growing Company are actually available in quite a few cities now so it might give out the impression that uh, they are like a big operation probably but uh, I, I don't think so and uh, I think they've uh, maintained that uh, whole craft beerness, the, that whole goanness, uh, you know, that you get in this bottle. Uh, so definitely try this one out if you haven't already. And uh, if you have, then uh, do let me know what you thought about uh, the eight finger ready in your comments. And uh, well, I guess it's uh, time to say thank you to the original eight finger ready and uh, complete the rest of this eight finger ready. Until then, I'll see you in another episode of uh, Beer Reviews with Google. Um, before I leave, let me give my review. This one is uh, a sort of a solid uh, 7 on 10 for me. It's, uh, it's a nice uh, sort of crisp and smooth uh, IPA and uh, I really love the sort of notes that it gives out, uh, you know, 
when you are drinking it and even when you know you finished uh, having a sip and it just let it linger on your throat so it's it's a nice uh, sort of beer to have and uh, i definitely recommend this so 7 out of 10 it is i'm going to finish uh, the rest of this and i will see you in another episode very soon take care see you soon bye